Hello, welcome to another video from the CoolTech channel. If you like what we do and you want to support us, please subscribe to our channel, press the like button and also click the notification icon to get notified on future videos. Also feel free to let us know what you think in the comment section below. As we are a new channel and we are just getting started, it means a lot to us. So today I'm gonna show you how to build your own Ponoguchi device. What is a Ponoguchi you might ask? Well, Ponoguchi is a combination of Tamaguchi and Pwn. Tamaguchi is a 90s pocket game that you had a handheld di digital pet that you had to feed and take care of in order to get it, get it happy and grow. And the word Pwn, which is a slang word that is originated from the gaming world that is basically owning someone or killing someone in the video game. We're not gonna kill anyone here, okay? But instead of feeding your device imaginary food, Ponoguchi is eating actually Wi-Fi network handshakes, which are generated when the device is connecting to WPA secure network. Ponoguchi is using the deauthorization packet to kick a client from a network and get it to reconnect, which is done automatically. In that moment, the handshake is made and captured by the Ponoguchi. It doesn't mean now that you will know the password of this network yet. I will show you how to do it in the part 2 video, so stay tuned. However, before we begin I must say that this is only for learning purposes. Please try it only on network that you own. This device should not be used on networks that you are not allowed to mess with. So use it with great care. I am taking this little device in my backpack. As you can see, it's already captured more than 300 handshakes. A busy little guy. Well, what we will need in order to build our own Ponoguchi is we will need a Raspberry Pi Zero model WH. Well, the W stands for Wi Fi and H stands for header. You can get the model without the G GPIO header and solder it by yourself if you want. We will need the E Ink display. It's better to use the non display that works, which is the WaveShare E Ink. 2.13 inch display. This display uses very low power and it's the best display to use with your Ponaguchi because you want it to last as long as possible on your little battery. We will also need a micro SD card of at least 8 GB. So let's look at the parts that we need. This is the screen, much like this. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero with the header and an SD card. This is the 8, 8 gigs version. That's all. So we should head to the Ponoguchi homepage, which is the Ponoguchi.ai. I will post the link in the comment section, in the description section. Also, if you like this project and you uh, would like to support it, you can become a patron by following this link. So, if you want to learn more about the project and how it started, you can follow this link. Here you can check how the project started, how it goes developed. All the first version very interesting you're more than welcome to read about it so first step is that we need to download the image to burn into our SD card so we should head to the installation section and flash in an image we need to follow the download the latest on a Gucci release link This is the latest version, like you can see it's version 1.5.3 Go a little bit down and we can see the zip file, the image that we need to burn into SD card Let's save it to an into our PC 
So now that the image file is downloaded, let's open the folder, extract it. So now that we downloaded the image file and extracted it, now we need to burn it into a SD card. You can use whatever software you feel more comfortable with. I prefer to use Win32 Disk Imager software, so I will open it. Select the image file that we extracted and make sure to select the correct device, otherwise you will format something that you don't want to and all you get left is to press the right button and wait until it will finish Now that it finally finished writing the image into the SD card, we can exit the Win Imager software, but do not remove the SD card yet as we need to make some first configurations. You can follow the configuration link. And here under initial configuration there is something that we need to do. We need to go to the boot drive on the SD card it will appear in your computer and here we need to create file named config.toml copy the file name new text document and make sure the file is without the .txt extension. Open it with your text editor. And now we need to paste all this content into the new file. And change some parameters. Now the first one is the main.name is your Ponoguchi name. You can name it whatever you want. I will call it Josh. Second parameter is the language. If you want to use other language than English, you're more than welcome. The third is the whitelist. Here you can enter your own Wi-Fi network that you don't want this device to mess with. So here you can just, in, instead of the example network, write your own network name. like this for example. Now these settings is the plugins we will not mess with them now you can leave them on they will not make any difference unless you connect your Ponoguchi into the internet which we won't do in this chapter. Now the last part is your display settings now we will use WebShare Display version 2 the color is black and it's enabled so that's all we can Save the file, close it, and disconnect the SD card from your computer. After you remove your SD card from the computer, you can just plug it into your Raspberry Pi like this, connect the display into the GGPIO pins 
and press it firmly be careful not to bend the pins not to break the display or anything now it should look like this I won't remove the protective film it will stay inside like this now let's power our device there are two USB ports the outer and the inner one the outer one is the power port with which we will use to power our device when we want to take it with us and the inner port is the data port we will use it when we want to connect our device to our computer to communicate, download files, change configuration, etc. When the first boot you just connect it to the power port and into your power bank or any other device. Now the first boot may take a few minutes, let it sit, don't interrupt unless it will corrupt the files when it's booting. So just let's wait. So now that it will finish booting, you can see your Panaguchi little face and it will start collecting handshakes. So the device is ready, that's all for the first part. Thank you for watching. In the second part we will make our Panaguchi a case and learn how to download the handshakes and try to get the password from them using Hashcat. Also we will customize our Ponoguchi a little to go through different parameters. So please subscribe and click the notification button to get notified for the part 2 video as it will be published soon. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. You're also welcome to post what video you might want to see in our channel. Thank you again and see you soon.